that. So we'll see. Wang Chun Ting to start with the serve. That's the backhand. When it's on, it is so difficult. Xu Xin has a little bit more variety in his backhand, but in terms of consistency, Wang Chun Ting has the more consistent backhand. Oh, way short on the backhand. After a solid lob deep on the table, wanted to take advantage of the opportunity. Strong start for Wang Chun Ting. Oh, surprise, surprise. A lot of underspin on that reverse pendulum. He varies it up so well, but it's loaded. Fast pace of play, Timo Bull, 2005. Here he is in 2017. Just amazing. Again, when I asked Timo, what do you think is responsible for your excellent play, your resurgence? He said, yeah, you know, the ball quality is very good. He said the new ball, it just, it's just so honest on the bounce. It's so consistent. Now, many times we've seen Timo Bowl switch hands when he's pushed out wide to the forehand side, coming back. Vastim, he doesn't feel like he has much touch on the right-hand side. The angle, too, very flexible with that wrist. This is something that comes with experience. Knowing how to use the wrist and add that little bend to the ball to make it less comfortable, less reachable. Wang Chunting got through Vladimir Samsonov just earlier today. Very exciting match. We could hear the crowd roaring. Solid opening loop. Now one thing that Timo Boll has done very well throughout his career is use spin and the varieties of spin to be quite unpredictable. Longer serve but well read by Wang Chun Ting takes it right back into the body of Timo Boll. Touch play, Timo Bull decides a little bit late that he's gonna take a backhand spin shot. Little trouble on the receive there. Rarely is Timo Bull fooled. Again, he's been around for some time. He's seen it all, pretty much anyway. Wow, Wang Chun Ting recovers after falling off to the forehand side. Look at this, quickly regains his composure. Gets low. A few points in a row now. Timo Bull hasn't looked to be quite on point the way he has been throughout most of 2017. Although he's had his ups and downs and still managed to come back. It's a best of seven match. He's lost first games to many people, including Harimoto the first time they played this year. Oh, can't get much more fortunate than that, dribbling over the top of the net. Long Chun Ting's been playing well, but a little bit of luck there. Quality opening backhand, six game points for Wang Chun Ting. Now, Wang Chun Ting, even when Fan Zhendong was pretty dominant and almost nobody could touch him, gave him a very close match. Turning from the middle on the backhand corner, covering with the forehand. Timo does not put it down. Dominant game one for Wang Chun Ting. We will see if the comeback artist, the experienced legend, the man of 2017, Timo Bull, will come back. Game two coming up right after this. Das ist die Qualität, spielt es auf jeden Fall. 
Back for game number two, you can hear the Alf Gets, Alf Gets from Jorg Roskoff trying to pump up Timo. His energy looking a little bit low about halfway through the game. I know he's been quite, I'd say, tested. He's playing so much this year. The whole one, two. As fast as they come, right back and out the other way. In one door, out the other. Look at this, short stroke. Talk to Timo about his short strokes. He's like, well, yeah, you've got the fastest sport in the world, right? Maybe not much time for a long stroke. So we developed that quite young. Oh, out of reach, the bending inside out forehand. Look at Timo here. I thought maybe he'd slow it down, leave it out in front. But he tends to stay closer to the table, and that creates these angles. Takes a lot of willpower to stay in that close. So quick for that backhand, but Wang Chun-Ting playing quite well as well. It's a smart placement. Timo Bol not rushing and trying to play it out wide to the forehand. Sees Wang Chunting starting to move and plays it right back to where he came from. It's like thinking moves ahead. Timo knows he's going to be in position. And Wang Chunting tries to play that ball cross court if he does. Perfect placement though on the flip. Now the short game should favor a pen holder, especially on the forehand side. You just have more flexibility with the wrist to generate that spin. Speaking of spin, Timo at the back of the table, spins hard, ducks to get out of the way. We talked about physical fitness. Timo said he was stronger in 2005, but he's still working very hard to be quite fit. And to look at the guy, you might think he's more physically fit now, even if he is feeling a little slower or actually is a little slower. But also with age comes experience and knowledge. Timo Bull much smarter now. Recently released his online coaching. The way Wang Chunting looked at that, he was quite curious, it seemed. Mistiming the backhand counter. Timo still up by one. So I think Wang Chunting had an early lead on Vladi earlier today. Vladi came back. Oh, the crisp one. As soon as Timo Bull gets a little bit more time, he plays his forehand. His technique is quite unusual. It's a bit different than other players. But it's clearly effective. No question about it. Not everybody beating Ma Long. Or Ling Gao Yuan for that matter. T-Mobile so continues his streak up four. So curious with all the players left in this tournament. So many strong players. Shushin is not one of them anymore. Been eliminated. Courtesy of Fan Zhendong. This is a bit of a break here for Wang Chunting. Leaves it short near the net. Not an easy ball to play. But still, I think for Timo, usually he'll make this shot. Timo makes it work. 
Running it down on the forehand side. Pressure from the wide forehand. Huang Chunting with excellent placement. Watch the way Timo comes down from that shot. Again, keeping her balance. Top edge of the racket, three point differential now. Little fun fact the winner of this match will play Fan Zhendong in the semifinals. Some big points here for Timo. After being up 9 5, has two serves, a chance to win the game. Missing the contact, now it's just a chance to hang on to the lead. Earn himself game points. He'd have two if he takes this point. Wow, perfect placement. Wang Chunting goes the other way and Timo plays it out. World champion in doubles, Jorg Groskoff there. Look at that surprise. Timo Bowles got that placement. Double fish plug there. Sponsor. Two game points to Timo Bowles. Once again, Wang Chun Ting not having enough faith in the backhand. Runs around for the forehand. 11 to 8. Timo ties it up. We'll be back for game number three to see who takes the lead right after this. Back for game number three. Timo taking the second game and tying it up here. Wang Chun Ting has been quite unpredictable in terms of performance. Again, he climbed up, broke into the world top ten. And then has had a little bit of a dip here and there. Nothing too much to write home about recently. Even had a tough experience in India in ultimate table tennis. He's the top world ranked player for the men. And didn't have an overwhelmingly successful season. Oh, break off the edge there, Timo, deep to the corner. Still returnable, but not an easy one. You could tell by the timing of Wang Chun Ting. Would have been a much more playable ball if it had a clean bounce. Oh, fooled on the serve, shovel serve. Dumped into the net, first point split. Long Chun Ting quite fast, you can see him breaking out for that forehand. Timo finds the openings on the table quite quickly. Ting was well inside the top 10 for some time. Has dropped down to world rank number 14 currently. Again, one of the top two pen holders in the world. Short stroke from Timo covering the middle with that forehand. A little bit in near the body. Not as much as I realized it was just a short stroke, not a full extension. Right into the sweet spot. Timo right back in, it ties it up. First towel break of the game, and Timo has played many tournaments this year tired. 
after beating Gustavo Tuboy at the Men's World Cup, looked like he wanted to pass out. So compliments to Gustavo Tuboy. But that definitely wasn't the biggest fish in some senses, the most memorable victory for Timo Boll after beating Lingao Yuan. And then beating Ma Long after that. Congratulations to Ma Long, becoming a father recently. So now up by two. Awkward last ball, strong fight. Many quality shots from Timo. When he gets that far behind the table, though, it's just gonna be tough to control the points so much. Hooking side spin, you can see how much this ball accelerates off the bounce with Timo's top and side spin. Attempted chop block comes way up high. Earns a two point lead and then quickly spends it. Wang Chun Ting coming right back in. Soft backhand flip. Now with all the soft play that Timo does, it's often followed up with a quicker ball or when the player's way behind the table, but Wang Chun Ting for the last several points, three in a row now, hasn't been phased. Whoa, what a serve. Second bounce kicks the opposite way. It's a reverse pendulum serve, so you could expect that, but not such a drastic kick. Not to mention Wang Chun Ting playing a high risk game so far on the receive and early in the rally. He knows that against Timo, if he can push him back off the table, it's going to be way to his advantage. Second service dump into the net we've seen faster this time. One point lead for Wang Chun Ting. And in the rally, when they're both behind the table, Wang Chun Ting is quite fast. The acceleration on this backhand, two nice shots. Variety of placement there, the parallel to finish. Nice counter off the bounce. Just thinking back to Wang Chun Ting's serve. The table tennis fans who've been watching for some time it was reminiscent of the Ma Lin serve where he quickly contacts the ball and circles around the outside of it after contacting the inside of the ball. The angled Timo right at the back of the table and the serve sets it up. He was up 5-3, then down and right now ties it back up at eight apiece. Oh, to the very corner of the table, and Wang Chun Ting pulls out an incredible shot. I mean, that's baseline of the table for him to get such an angle on that backhand. It's high risk. You can understand why Timo's head was turned sideways. Not to say that the shot coming in was a bad shot, but it doesn't usually finish the point against Timo. We've seen him counter tougher shots. Two game points here to Wang Chun Ting. Spinny backhand, change of trajectory, change of pace. We've seen Timo save, what, seven match points in the last game against Ling Gao Yuan. Eight in total in that match. I think it was one in game six as well. So oh, the counter backhand goes long. This is the point of the match so far, but I don't think it will be for long. It's only game three, and now we're gonna move on to four. What a way to work. 
Wong Chun Ting testing. I thought we were going to see a right hand from Timo Bull in that rally. Spectacular points. And 11 to 9, Wong Chun Ting takes it. We'll be back for game number four right after this. Here we are for game number four. Wang Chun Ting leading two games to one right now. Team Obol. When I saw him the other day, his back was a little bit sore. Didn't sound like anything permanent. Just sounded like he's been overworked a bit. Quite tired, but he's doing push-ups many times at his practice session right before the match. He likes the tension and you can see it. It's funny, it's a fine balance of staying loose and having that spring. Shot off the backhand there, Wang Chun Ting handling the soft spinny ball. Just long. Subtle contact, not the wave around, not the Ma Lin serve. Curious if we'll see that again. It was just my imagination. Not too many people fooled Timo on serves, and Wang Chun Ting's done it at least three times so far in this match. Beautiful backhand tucked and ripped. Now again, Timo Bol has been one of the only players to be a serious threat to the Chinese in the last 15 years. I guess Werner Schlager in 2003 was in the last 15 years. But Timo's timing, he stays in. As I mentioned before, those short strokes. It's variety of spin. But he's very compact, plays aggressively on top of the bounce. I feel like it was about a year ago we were talking about why Vladi has sustained and why Timo Bull might not last as long, but he's recuperated physically. He looks outstanding out there, in great shape. And this year, he's really shown the world he can come back. It's been a year for Germany. Dmitry Ovtrov will be world number one in January. Timo Boll, the star athlete of 2017. Star coach, Jorg Roskoff. Wow, touch shot, leaves it out in front of Wang Chun Ting. Smart play. Not easy to do though, really softens that ball up. See how uncomfortable that body position is for Wang Chun Ting turns sideways. Tough to get the footing right for that ball. Timo spins from the back of the table. Not sure what the apology is for. But Timo is kind as they come. I think he'll apologize for just about anything that he feels gives him a little bit of an advantage. He was a little bit fortunate. And service right back. That reverse pendulum, I think it's the second time we've seen Wang Chun Ting dump it into the bottom of the net. Quality forehand up 9-2. Timo looking to tie up the score. This reminds me a little bit of, I saw the highlights of Yuya Oshima in the first round versus Timo Bol. Score-wise, I believe they were tied up at 2-2. We're not there yet, but it's eight game points to Timo. 
Second tile break of the game, and you'd think surely anyone who can come back from down 4-10 would have trouble losing from up 10-2. He had 10-6 at the China Open in game seven on Dima. Now 10-2. Wow, merciless. Caution to the wind. I don't know if merciless is the right thing to say for someone who's down 2-10, but either way, Wang Chunting saves a game point. There we go, T-Mobile takes it 11-3, absolute domination for the fourth game. And they are split, let's see what happens. Game number five, the plot thickens, and we'll be back for game five right after this. As the players come back for game number five, Timo Bull with a bit of momentum here. 11 to three in that last game, but after losing the first game 11 to four, Timo Bull is only outscoring Wang Chun Ting 35 to 33 points so far in this match. Again, Timo Bull at the back of the table. If he can stay there, keep Wang Chun Ting away, he's going to be quite controlling and tough to beat. Again, very steady in the block game, but his spin variety, his angles. Wang Chun Ting comes in though, puts the pressure on from over the table. Forehand flip, the short game, the earlier in the point, you can get that attack in. If it's quality, it's gonna pay off. Timo. It's gonna say bold. B-O-L-L-E-D. Wang Chun Ting was bold. to wonder what was up with that sound. Quite a loud bang sound. Both players had to play through it. Heavy top and side from under the table though from Wang Chun Ting. Oh, look at this. Full extension, wide forehand. Timo short stroke right back down the line. Under pressure, world class. I mean, this is coming from the man who dove off the Lingao Yuan net table, net, and then another piece of the table and hit a roller. Oh no! What a save! Wong Chun Ting! It looked like he contacted the ball while he was holding the racket. I think Jorg Roskoff saying, did he? Did he let go? Let's watch it one more time. Yep, that's his point. Drops it after not half, he just doesn't have to be holding it once he's played the ball. As long as he's holding the racket when he plays the ball, he doesn't have to be holding the racket to win the point anymore. Wow, what an escape. Oh, oh burned. Turn, I dare you to turn, Timo says. Don't turn your back on me. Step around for that forehand, okay. I see that, Wang Chu Ting knows as soon as he goes. What a response to losing a point with no racket in the hand of the opponent.
Think of the second half of game number one that a lot of Timo's backhands weren't coming into play. Since then, his percentages have gone way up. Quite frankly, Timo's been more confident with his backhand than Wang Chun Ting, but also able to finish the points with his forehand more. It's another one of those backhands down the line, the parallel winner from Timo. That serve again. He's done it a few times so far in this match. A few of which have been lets, but deep to the backhand corner, right in near the body, long enough to start the rally. Wang Chunting isn't too comfortable. We've seen him a few times play that cross court backhand, his reverse pen hold backhand. Oh, and the Timo Bowl trick comes right back to haunt him. Very smart play, Wang Chu Ting playing it down the line here, changing up the pattern, not going for the safe shot. As soon as he starts making that move, he knows where Timo's likely to go. It's usually Timo saying that. Timo, a bit of a wizard on the table, tends to be in the right place at the right time. Reads the body language of the opponent, reads the mind of the opponent. Spinny shot puts Wang Chun Ting within one. Looking down to see if there'd be a timeout. Not yet. Timo saves him for a little bit later. He's got Roscoff in the corner. Oh. Wow, soft block on top of the bounce. Timo leaves it out in front of Wang Chun Ting and it pays off. Again, even when Timo chose, there's this humility to it. Like he's surviving, like he really deserves the Cho. It's far from flaunting. Gets Wang Chun Ting's footwork tripped up a little bit on the court. Playing it right into the middle while he's out on the forehand side. There it is. Wang Chun Ting looking down at the ground. Figuring out what it was with the footwork and the flooring. A three point lead for Timo Boll to go up 3-2. He's still got a little ways to go though. A soft one, but Wang Chun Ting plays it wide to the forehand. No time for messing around. He gets a soft one. He's gonna try to stay in here. A little bit closer to the table this time. Plays a little bit riskier and it pays off. Oh, the opportunity was there. Had it set up for him. Completely paid for. All he had to do was accept the gift. Though I guess still, the way Wang Chun Ting won that point without the racket in the hand. Things have evened out a bit. Timo still has two game points left after Wang Chun Ting's parallel. Quick to get to the towel for the third towel break. Love the drift of that serve. Reminds me a lot, the Malin serve. Less after motion. But still the disguise on the contact is quite effective. Two game points left for Timo. Perfectly placed right into the back end. Not sure if Timo was going for a chop block on that. Didn't seem like a high percentage shot, but quality ball coming in from Wang Chun Ting. One more game point left for Timo. Oh, the backhand, a big time right here. After a streak from up 10-7, Wang Chun Ting with two in a row, some quick points, and Timo earns himself a third game, and he's one game away from moving on to the semifinals. He's got to get through a tough opponent first, Wang Chun Ting, Timo Bull, game number six, coming up right after this.
最后你看不会，他不会挑。也不也不过来你后边你扒你把这基本上全是这种堆啊摆这种时候，后边你扒上也扒的特别好，就给他扒上边这种时候，是吧？尽量这种足底不让他给你立住，这样就这种足底，他轻轻推的话，哎，稍微力度体量低一点的话，就足够拉住了。你包括你今天。And we are back for game number six. Players back at the table. Hong Kong's Wang Chunting, 26-year-old pen holder sensation at the bottom of the screen. One of the most admired legends in the game. Timo Bowl right there with the serve leading three to two. Second bounce on the opponent's half of the table. Half long serve, that's the shorter side of a half long serve. 10 years difference between these two players. You have to wonder if Timo was getting ready to switch to the right hand after running down that wide forehand. Slip for a moment. Goes for that wristy backhand. Running Wang Chun Ting around the table a bit. Timo Bowl takes the lead. Right in at the table, moves in to get it quickly. Roscoff deeply in support, chewing the gum there. Again, we've got an all-star team right now in Germany. Two very strong players at the top of the squad. A few pretty solid to follow. Time out here, Wang Chun Ting. I think so. Seems appropriate. He'll go talk to Lu Guodong. Wang Chun Ting early on in this match was able to create some wide angles with that backhand. Again, the pen hold grip should be good for over the table play from that forehand flip kill, or just the forehand flip anywhere on the table. Now my Cantonese isn't so sharp. 要多注意点，把把把球发出去，是吧？别，完了别给他碰过去。It does seem there's a lot of conversation about the shovel serve. 那第一个，你看，你看，一比一的时候就把人摆个脚板高，没啥。完了，你就这这是第一。第二个，我就发发发球的话，发到你中间最靠近，一定要大胆，不要去去脚去那么回，一定要注意点就好。啊，人家一定
Excellent point here from Wang Chun Ting. Not a bad setup for Timo. Let's the ball dangle off the edge of the table just a little bit. Still in a confident position from that point. No! <laughs> oh, if he had made that shot, he's done crazier things. Diving for this ball. Timo diving once again. He just enjoys himself so much. Can't keep it low, but comes back. Not far off. Not far off. If Timo had won that from on his stomach, reaching up, I saw this in badminton once. It was one of the craziest things I've ever seen. But if Timo wins that point, I apologize for what happens to your eardrums based on my reaction. And a forewarning, I apologize in the future for anything similar, but it might happen. Big point for Timo to retain, get back to a five-point lead. I don't think I've ever seen that. I've seen Timo make shots from the ground, not in near the table blocking when someone's smashing right near the net. I want to see that. Timo so solid right now. Wang Chun Ting having trouble with the combination of side and topspin from Timo. Look at this. Ball really takes a bounce. The same can be said for Wang Chun Ting's backhand. I had a little chance to try and block it. It really curves. But Timo doesn't seem to be too bothered by it right now. Very much in control. Two serves here. And it is seven match points for Timo. Hate to say to Cruz because it was a tight match early on. And there it is, Timo Bowl fist in the air continues on over Wang Chun Ting. Wang Chun Ting got the best of Vladi, but not Timo. The man of 2017, the ITTF star male player, has moved on over Hong Kong's number one, the number two pen holder in the world. And the bandana brings superpowers, Timo Bull. Great respect, a thumbs up, a good handshake as always, and a humble but hard fought victory. There it is with the coach of the year. So Timo Bull, Dima, and Roscoff continue on together. We will see what happens. It's Fan Zhendong versus Timo Bull in the next round. And on the other side in the semifinals, we've got nothing determined yet. Dmitry Ovtarov versus Tomokazu Harimoto in the quarters and Fang Bo versus Ling Ga Yuan in the other quarters. Stick around for the interview. It's been an exciting day and it's always good to hear from Timo. Ladies and gentlemen, a very popular winner here in this match. It's Timo Ball from Germany. <laughs> Timo, another tough match out there. You were telling us earlier you lost to Chunting in the last time you played, I think, in Champions League. What was different this time? Yeah, it was, a, it was again very close. I mean, the fifth set was very important. I think he played really good and I had to force myself every ball. I think everyone is tired at the moment. It's the last tournament of the season. And so it was for both of us, I think, a fight against the opponent, but also against uh, yourself. For sure. And of course now a big match, Fan Zhendong. What are your initial thoughts now on this one? Yeah. <laughs> I think I'm I'm the hunter, so <laughs> I'm in the in the comfortable position. But I try to give everything. That's all what I can do, and I have a lot of self-confidence. So I will try my best and hope in the end I will win. But yeah, he he's he's an outstanding player and will be really difficult. And of course, here you've just dived again on the floor. Again, you did it in the. Uh, Men's World Cup, but you didn't win this point either. Maybe you'll do a third time and win the point. 
you always have to go for it. <laughs> yeah, you're giving everything, Timo, everything. And again, congratulations last night, ITTF star, male player, again, for the year, a great accolade for you, a great season. Yeah, I'm still, I still feel very honored. And thanks to my fans who voted me, who elected me. And it's really a good feeling for me. Fantastic. Timo, thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, all the fans at home, Timo Ball.